here from Walmart Live Better Magazine, Sandra Martin, Editor-in-Chief. Nice to see you, Sandra. Good to see you, too. And you got some nice, colorful, creative ideas to get a set, and more importantly, on a budget. Right, and a little bit of everything you need from decor, what to wear, tools to help you barbecue like a pro, and a little bit of a cheat so that you can sit down and enjoy yourself, too. So let's start with decor. Right, so some of the stuff, you know, it's Canada Day, so let's play up the maple leaf. This is from a Canadiana line, which is available at Walmart. Um, you know, wouldn't it be great to just sort of dress up your old patio furniture or your tired chairs by throwing some of these really cool Canada cushions on? Um, you know, a lot of people are having a great time and their barbecue goes into the night, but it gets chilly, especially for the kids. Um, there's also a line of these great throws that have a vintage feel, um, and they're not that expensive, so you can buy two or three have them lying around. It's a very sort of she-she professional touch. What are we looking at average price uh, point for the throw? This is under $20, just under $20 All for straight. the throw. Um, then there's some, some cups, um, you know, the hat for whether it's drizzly or it's sunny, you gotta have a hat when you're barbecuing. Now the bug spray, anytime you're out for the barbecue, the right. mosquitoes are coming out, what's the best way right. to stay protected? Well, you know, I mean, I think a lot of people like to do the slathering on, but it's not so appetizing when it mixes with this, the lovely aromas of your food and you've got the bug spray. These are cool because they use the same idea of citronella, so it's like a synthetic sort of citronella that's disseminated uh, a bit further because there's a device inside that spreads it around. They really work. If you have a big backyard used to, um, but uh, they work on the same principle. You put the little cartridge inside, turn them on, and I tell you, I've done it myself. It is, it's like magic. Makes a big difference. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, I like to keep it organized at the barbecue too, and this device too comes in Isn't handy. Isn't this great? I mean, I remember my mom having this plastic tray that she used for barbecues, and she'd be teetering with, uh, with all of the goodies, the condiments and the cutlery. This one just has a nice little handle, so it's easy to bring everything out. Mm -hmm. um, it's durable because it's made of powder coated metal so you'll use it for a lot of different seasons and before we get to the barbecue accessories the uh, the outlay here of the lights I love these so these are little you know Japanese lantern style lights um, that you hook up to wiring that's solar powered so you charge them up during the day and they're good for about eight hours when the Sun goes down sweet and it comes in a set of 20. Tools for the barbecue itself, what are right. the basics we need? Uh, so, you know, if you're using, th if you're making uh, vegetables or something that you're worried is gonna fall through the grates, these are good, sort of depending on, you know, what you prefer. This one you lay right on top of the grates, this one you load up with your uh, your veggies or your shrimp or whatever's gonna fall out, and you stick that on the barbecue. Yeah. A basic barbecue tool set, you know, everybody needs that. That's solid, it's got a nice long handle, so you're less likely to burn yourself. You know, watch for spatters, but the longer the handle, the less likely you're going to realize, oh my gosh, I'm too close to the flames. And finally, we got to choose the right food for the barbecue. Right. I mean, not everyone loves cooking from scratch or has time to cook from scratch. So, you know, if you're having a bunch of people over, pick up some frozen uh, meal starters. So this bacon-wrapped Nova Scotia sea scallops is going to be very, very impressive, but easy to do. So just follow the directions and they'll come out perfectly every time. Of course, there are burgers, um, you know, cheese and bacon filled uh, chicken. So something for everybody. Hungry already. <laughs> you guys have an important event at Walmart happening all across Canada this weekend. Right. Tell us about so that. So Saturday the 28th is Supporting Families in Need Day, and uh, it's an invitation from Walmart on its 20th anniversary in Canada to all Canadians to come out, buy a burger, buy a hot dog, and help Walmart support their partner charities. So a lot of people don't know that over the past 20 years, Walmart has donated and raised more than $200 million for charities working with the communities that they're in. They really have tried hard to be a good neighbor, so come on out. Out, um, have a burger. You'll be asked if you buy anything at Walmart to round up your purchase to the next nearest dollar, and uh, that'll go to charity as well. Walmart will uh, match anything up to $100,000. That's great. Getting out there, supporting a great cause. Walmart live but, uh, live better .ca is the website. Sandra, thanks for coming in. My pleasure, anytime. Here's the magazine right here. You can pick it up at Walmart as well. Can't wait for Canada Day. Is there a barbecue out there? Barbecue is set. Let's oh do this. Oh gosh, yeah. Let's do this. We'll jump on it. Taking a break.